10.3D Factoring Tricks Sum and Difference of Cubes. The sum of cubes, um, again these are just formulas that you have to, to know. It is, we take the roots of the cubes along with the sign and then we square the first term, meaning we're going to work off of this group here. We're going to do opposite sign, a times b plus the square of the last term. And it's your formula. You cannot factor these if you do not know your formula. The difference of cubes is just like the sum. The only difference is that we have a minus in the sign. Notice that these two match and these two match. Okay, so we square the first term. We're going to do opposite sign a times b plus square of the last term. I find this is a lot easier to memorize if I think of it as a plus or minus b if you're thinking about trying to memorize the formula. a squared, it will be the opposite sign, so I think of this as negative plus ab plus b squared. And just memorize one formula rather than both. Again, you just have to know the formula. Some cubes that you probably should be really familiar with um, so that you can recognize some or difference of cubes. We have one cubed, of course, is one. Two cubed is eight. Three cubed is twenty-seven. Four cubed is sixty-four. Five cubed is a hundred and twenty-five. Those will help you recognize a lot of the summer differences of cubes. Okay, so let's look at example one. One of the things you want to do is that you want to probably take the time to rewrite your numbers in a cubic form. So here we have m cubed plus 125 is 5 cubed. That's why you want to have them memorized. So now we just follow the formula. Formula says we write down the bases with the sign. Square the first term, opposite sign, first term, whoops, somehow I'm not writing that very well. First term times last term, which gives you 5m, plus square the last term, which would be 5 squared, or 25, and you're done. Let's look at our second example. Again, I probably want to rewrite this. 8 is 2 cubed, so I'll write this as 2a to the third power, minus 27 is 3 cubed, so this is 3y to the third power. I want to write it this way because I want to think of the 2a and the 3y as being together. So I start by writing my bases which is the 2a, the sine, and the 3y. Square the first term, which means I have 4a squared. Opposite sine, which would be plus. 2a times 3y gives us 6ay. Square the last term, and we get 9y squared, and we're done. Again, memorize the formula and you'll find these easy.